Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. It is 8.52 a.m. I have been trying to get Kel up for like half an hour now. He's literally just laying here, dead. Like, hello? My alarm went off at seven. It's Saturday morning, by the way. My alarm went off at seven and I was like, ooh. I'm just gonna lay here because I just finished working like seven days straight. So I was like, oh my god, I don't actually have to get up. Also haven't vlogged in like two weeks, I think, which I think I'll talk to you guys a little bit about like later, but I basically just really needed to take a break. But yeah, it's nearly 9 a.m. I have so much stuff that I want to get done today. I'm also very excited for today. The reason I worked seven days straight at work was to have today and tomorrow off because today is the um, AFL Grand Final and I go for Western Bulldogs. Actually, I got today off before I even knew they were going to be in the Grand Final. I swear I manifested getting them into the Grand Final. I like said at the start, maybe not even the start of the season, like in maybe the middle of the season or something. We went out for coffee with Cal's dad and Cal and Cal's dad are like pretty big AFL supporters. I go for the Western Bulldogs, but I'm not like their biggest fan, you know? And I said like, they're gonna be in the grand final, like I'm gonna go to the grand final. Well, I'm not going to the grand final because if you're new here, I'm in Melbourne and I'm in lockdown and the grand final is not getting played here. But I was like, they're gonna be in the grand final, like they're gonna make it, they're gonna win. And I remember Cal's dad being like, don't get so ahead of yourself. Well, it is September 25th and look where we are, baby. They're in the grand final. But anyway, I decided I wanted to like decorate the house. So I have a bunch of decorations. Oh, I was like, I want to throw like an AFL party, literally just for Cal and I, because we've been in lockdown for so long. It's like, why not? This There's finally like an event to do something for. So I bought a bunch of like really generic, like AFL, like, party kind of food. So, welcome to the vlog. I'm very excited to hang out today. Cal, are you ready to get up? Good morning, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get it. Also, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, hello, we are now best friends, so you should definitely subscribe. Okay, let's get the day, baby. <laughs> Love the humidifier. Just ruining my little aesthetic walk to little walk to the bathroom. <laughs> like hello, she's <laughs> chunky. <laughs> can tell but I replaced the light bulbs in that strip of lights um you guys are literally in my bathroom cupboard right now but the strip of lights above this mirror used to have like those really yellow lights Kelly and I switched them they look so good like the lighting right now like go off I want to show you but like is that gonna hurt your eyes oh, let's give it a go yeah I don't know if you can like really tell but they are no longer yellow. Maybe I have a clip that I can like put this up against. They're kind of yellow. They're definitely are they? not white. They are definitely not white. Guys, literally just as I went to speak to you, my contact that I just put in is like playing up in my eye. I don't know what it's doing. Is this happening to anybody else? Like I put it in, it was fine. I walk into the bedroom to film and it's like, probably not fine. Um, Anyway, I'm just gonna hope that this <laughs> settles down. I haven't been crying, it's just my contact. But it is now quarter past 10, so I'm about to get ready. I wanna look like super cute for today for literally like no other reason than literally why not. So yeah, I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna do my makeup. My hair is just like, a whole other, like, hmm, no, I'm not loving it. Also, I put on these little, like, blue, um, what are they called? Press-on nails. Um, tell me why they're giving me the most, like, Bella Loray UNC vibes right now. I feel like I can be on campus. Um, but I got blue ones because the team that I go for in the grand final, their colors are red, white, and blue. So, we love that. But anyway, let's, uh, let's fix this.
Okay, I'm about to put on some makeup. My hair's not done. Like this is not this is not the vibe. I want to do a whole um extension curled moment but man my hair was so ratchet i felt like i needed to straighten it to just like have that as the base point <laughs> anyway i'm about to do my makeup oh my god i always pick up the foundation and not the primer first anyway i'm feeling a little bit anxious right now because i feel like i need to tell you guys like how i've been feeling or well, need and want honestly but it's just yeah, so the last couple of weeks, I've just been feeling like, honestly, wonky is the only word I can think to like describe it. Actually, no, wonky is not the right word. Overwhelmed. So you guys know that I do social media like full time. This is like the love of my life. Like I love doing this, um, but I also have a full time job as well. And I have a full time job in the travel industry. And my job, it's like customer service, right? So it's a lot of dealing with people's bookings. Is this the right foundation? I have like three of these L'Oreal infallible and I always forget like which one is actually my color anyway I work in customer service dealing with a lot of like rescheduling people's holidays you know them not being able to travel hotels shut for quarantine and as much as I love my job sometimes I feel like it can be quite overwhelming because I obviously went through the process of getting back to Australia um and travel can sometimes be a little bit triggering for me um <laughs> So getting a job in the travel industry at first, I was like, wow, this is like the smartest idea because I'm so passionate about travel. I love travel. You know, I want to help people live their best lives. Um, yeah, I just didn't really think that through. That's not to say I hate my job or like I don't like it or anything like that. Um, just sometimes it can get to me. So it, that had been getting to me a little bit. And then I just was feeling burnt out, like all around, not inspired to make content i felt kind of like i wasn't happy in myself or in my life and then obviously i didn't want to film that if that makes sense um i went down a whole spiral which i spoke about a little bit sorry just gotta get through the throat sounding like this um i spoke on instagram a bit about this but i went through this whole spiral and i honestly go through this all the time still like i don't think i'm ever gonna get past this well maybe i will but this is like a thing that keeps like popping up every now and then also if you can hear helicopters We'll get to that in a second, what's been happening in Melbourne. But I went through a whole thing of being like, I should have started my YouTube earlier. I feel like I spent all of my like late, maybe not even late teens, but like early 20s traveling the world. Like I went to America for two and a half months by myself and went to Disney. That was the trip I met Cal at. Um, and that trip I'd saved up for since I was like 13. That was like my dream trip. Um, I moved to Melbourne by myself. I went overseas again to Singapore. I went back to the US for Coachella and another like two month trip. I wish I vlogged the whole process of moving to Canada. I wish I vlogged living on the ski resort. I wish I vlogged the two and a half month road trip that Cal and I did through the United States in 2019. It kind of just feel like at the moment I'm vlogging like the most potentially boring part of my life so far like I literally just vlog working from home being in lockdown in my house and this isn't exactly what I thought my channel was gonna be um like when I first started I was like I'm gonna be a travel vlogger like I live in Canada I'm traveling all the time and then obviously the pandemic happened and I don't even know what I thought this was gonna be. I don't even know if this makes sense. But I basically wanted my channel to be like inspiring you guys to live your dream life because that's something that I've always been really passionate about. It's the reason why I packed up and moved overseas. It's the reason why I've gone overseas multiple times. Um, I just am very passionate about living the life you want to live. And right now, um, I don't feel like I'm living the life I want to live. And I know like a lot of people feel like that. It's not just me. But yeah, I went through this whole spiral. Obviously, Obviously on social media as well like I'm 25 and there's so many younger creators that I watch who are you know like 18 19 20 and they are vlogging all the things in their life that I just didn't and sometimes I feel a bit old oh, saying it out loud I'm like girl get out of your head you're crazy these are you're fine like keep going and I would never want anyone to think they're too old to do social media so the fact that I sometimes I'm like oh I'm 25 I'm too old it's like Girl, come on. But yeah, anyway, I started spiraling over that. And then that on top of like work, on top of everything happening in Melbourne at the moment, I just, I felt so burnt out. And I didn't want to push myself. So I decided, I was like, that's it, I'm gonna take a bit of a break. And I just kind of like focused on myself. And yeah, I feel like a lot better now. Um, 
but then this week was just like very intense in Melbourne. There's been the protests, which I don't even want to get into right now. Um, but there's been the protests. There was an earthquake like three days ago, um, which I had a really bit bad anxiety attack over. We're still in lockdown. Um, they introduced the roadmap of when we're going to get out of lockdown, which I'll put up on the screen, but like that's a while away. So yeah, there's just been kind of a lot going on in my life and I have been feeling very anxious, very down, not the version of myself that I like or want to kind of be, I guess, on the internet. As much as I think I'm always authentically myself, like I'll always keep it real with you guys, I do try to stay quite positive when I'm on social media because like I'm aware of my influence and I didn't want to come on here burnt out and then like promoting coming on here when you're burnt out. Like I want you guys to take a break. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. That's where I've been, but I obviously miss hanging out with you guys. Like I said at the start, this is like my dream doing social media. I absolutely love it. I love hanging out with you guys, so I'm happy to be back. Um, but my anxiety is still here. I don't know if you can hear it, <laughs> so just bear with me. Okay, anyway, I just looked up at my camera. That was a big 10 minute rant. I honestly don't even know if any of that made sense, but that's kind of like how my mind has felt the last few weeks. Like it's felt like it hasn't made sense. <laughs> so maybe that's just like an accurate representation. But anyway, I am going to finish doing my makeup. I'm gonna put on some fake lashes today. Guys, I used to wear fake lashes every single time I did my makeup, especially when I was like maybe 16 to like 22. So that's a good like six years. Yeah, and then I kind of just like gave up on them. But anyway, I'm going to put some lashes on today. I'm going to blast some One Direction to like liven the mood up. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, this is my outfit of the day. Guys, I haven't worn lipstick and fake lashes in so long that I'm literally like... I think I finished getting ready 30 minutes ago and I've just been staring at myself like, who is she? Um, but anyway, I told you guys before the team that I go for, their colors are like red, white, and blue. So I have these shorts that I got from Zaffle. This sweatshirt, it says Hampton Sport Club on it, which... I don't know if it really fits the vibe of the game. <laughs> but I got this from Supre. And then I just am wearing this red lipstick that I literally got from Kmart for a dollar. And I would not recommend it. Like, it does not taste great. But it's all I had. Also, I have my socks on because it's literally like 11 degrees in Melbourne today. But anyway, we are now going to decorate the house. The game literally isn't until, I think, 7.30pm. And it's probably like 12 now. But I really want to, like, have the house decorated. I want to take some pictures. Also, I have a couple of parcels that I need to Open, which I've literally been waiting for so long like one parcel that I got I think came probably the day after I decided I was gonna take a break from vlogging and I was like oh but I really want to open it on camera with you guys so I have some parcels to open as well but first we should decorate the house because I feel like otherwise it's gonna end up being like 4 p.m. and I want to take pictures and I need the light for the pictures like you guys know the vibes also just ignore the regrowth um the hairdressers are not open so Love that for me. Okay, so I have these balloons that I'm gonna blow up. Cal's gonna help me blow up as well. <laughs> um, that I'm gonna put around the house. But I have the funniest story to tell you guys. Um, I told this on my Instagram, but if you're not following me there, I'll let you know. So I had these red and blue balloons from Cal's birthday because I like blew up a bunch and put them around the house. And I needed white balloons for the team colors because the other team that we're playing today, their colors are red and blue. So like if I just blew up these, it would look like I'm going for the other team. Like hell no. So I need to get some white balloons, but obviously we're in lockdown, right? Um, so I was like, oh, I can just get some from Big W. There's a Big W probably like 10 minutes from my house. Kind of like Walmart if you're watching this from overseas, but also kind of not um so i fucking <laughs> collected some balloons and i was like oh i feel like that's not like enough in the order like what else do i need and i needed to get a saw like a hand saw because i'm doing this like work desk makeover and i want to like cut out the back of my desk you guys will see in the vlog and then cal was like oh we also need these two kitchen bowls so i was like all right well let's just like get it all at once makes sense so the click and collect order that i had to go and pick up was a hand saw a packet of balloons <laughs> And two kitchen bowls. I was so nervous to go and pick it up. Like, I was like, they're going to judge me. They're going to be like, what the hell is this girl up to? Like, 
why does she need this? And when I picked it up, the guy just kind of gave it to me and like laughed a little bit and I was like, hmm. So yeah, so that's um that's the story, but it was worth it. I feel like they were needed. So time to blow all these up. Last time I blew up balloons, I blew them up for Kel's birthday and I felt like I was gonna pass out. Like, is that a thing? Cause when I was little, I feel like I would blow up balloons and feel fine. But this time I was blowing them up in the morning and I had to take a break. I sat down and was like, yo, I think I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> it's like 9am, I don't know. Also just realized I have red lipstick on and that's gonna get all over the balloons. No, oh, well, you win some and you lose some. Oh my god, I don't want to break my nails. I'm trying to like do the tie up bit at the bottom. And normally it's like I would use my nail to kind of get under to push it through. I'm sure you know what I mean, even though it's a really bad explanation. Um, damn. Okay. That was harder than I thought. <laughs> drinking oh guys I went to make a drink I was like oh I should make an Aperol spritz and then just like sit here drink it with you guys like open the parcels together well your girl did not make ice so I have now made ice and I'm waiting for it to freeze anyway thought we would open these parcels together I have three to open so this one is from a Australian small business called Daisy Chick you guys know oh my god can this just like open Give me one sec here. Okay, we're good. Anyway, you guys know that I love this small business so much. Um, I collaborated with the girl who runs it last time. This time I bought a bunch of her hair clips because they are literally so good. Oh my god, what? She's had a bunch of stickers as well. Cool. But anyway, these are the hair clips that I got. I'm literally so obsessed with this color, like so cute and then she sent me a bunch of these stickers as well oh my god this is so kind like i did not order these so sweet oh no i've dropped one Closey. okay cute i love this one so much it says reminder you are loved oh. okay my camera died but anyway next i have this little self-care package that was sent to me by another australian business called cloud pink so it first has this little card that has that it's a self-care package this is honestly so sweet like so cute. And then it just has a note saying like, thank you so much for doing this collab with me. But she has sent me two products. So the first one is this Strawberry Cloud Body Scrub Exfoliate and Glow. I have a feeling that it's gonna smell good. Yep, okay, it smells good. Mmm, mmm, it smells good. Okay, next she sent me some Whipped Cloud Butter in the smell? Fragrance? In the scent? <laughs> I don't know, but it's tropical coconut, so. This is what it looks like. I actually love the labels. I feel like they're really cute. Also, I really like how it looks in the jar. Like, it looks so textured. Okay, yeah, this one smells good as well. It also looks really fancy. It kind of looks like you could eat it. Like, that'd be on a cake. <laughs> and last but not least, I already just opened the um, little, like, package that it came in. But one of my subscribers, Charlene, put together this little um care package for me she made it a like big w like click and collect order so she ordered it in her name but then for me to collect which was like the nicest thing ever charlene if you're watching it literally like made my whole entire life um but she sent me these four books here which i'm very excited to read i have been trying to get back into reading and i've been very slack so when she said like can i send you some books i was like oh my god if there's anything i need in my life right now it's books because i've been so slack um but then she also sent two of these garnier skin active face masks and then she also sent two kinder surprises which yo we picked this parcel up Kelly and I probably like I don't know like a week ago now maybe and we've been wanting to eat these the whole time so thank you so much Charlene <laughs> Okay, 
Okay guys, it is 9, no, 7.13, my phone's in 24 hour time. Um, but my friend Kelly who lives in the building just knocked on my door and I was like, hello, what is going on? Um, she just brought me over these cookies that she made that are like decorated for the grand final. Look how freaking cute they are. I'm literally freaking out over them. Okay, the game has started. Guys, I forgot to tell you, Cal made up this drinking game. I don't even know how best to explain this. Basically, we've been assigned players, and every time those like specific players do something, you have to drink. So how many players do we have each? Sorry, Cal just had to do six sips. <laughs> and I was like, I haven't told you about the game. We each have four players. Okay, yeah. And I have Melbourne players, and you have doggies players. Yeah, but Cal is going Bulldogs, but you know, best suited just that he has. Just for the game. Just for the game. But yeah, like, sometimes if the... <laughs> me trying to explain AFL. Um, but if the player, like, gets the ball, like, a possession, or disposes of it, or kicks a goal, you have to drink. So, stay tuned to see who ends up the most drunk. <laughs> Guys, I made a drink and I forgot that I bought blue food coloring to like make the drinks blue because you know red white and blue for the bulldogs I made a vodka lime soda by the way, so like super clear. Carl was like put the blue food coloring in. I free poured the <laughs> blue food coloring It almost looks black. It probably looks so black on camera You're drinking tar <laughs> Carl's like it's gonna stain your teeth so um Get ready for the teeth <laughs> Also we are we are losing hard, but... He missed. Who? Melbourne or Bulldogs? Melbourne missed. Melbourne just missed. So, it's fine, guys. We're going to make it. It's only, um, it's only 10 points. It's only 10 points. And it's only the second quarter, so it's fine. Um, but anyway, I'm going to drink my blue drink. That could turn my teeth into... Oh my god, it's already out like blue. Oh no. It begins. Okay, guys. We are in the third quarter. Well, for the second and... Majority of the third quarter, Bulldogs were going so strong, like up ahead. I was like, oh my god, Sons of the West. It's one point the difference. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's hard to turn. Um, it is now one point of difference. I have had maybe five drinks now, I think. Um, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm stressed out, okay, because the first quarter I did not vlog because I was like, oh my god, we're losing, but like. I've manifested this, we're gonna win, it's gonna be fine. Um, second quarter we came back and I was like, the heavens above, they've listened. Now I'm like, third quarter, like, don't wanna give up on myself, like, I believe in us, we're gonna win, but I'm also like, mm. Anyway, um, the game that Cal has made is rough. Like, I took a break for a second, and Cal was like, yeah, you have 30 you just, sips. You just had two players get two touches. So how many more sips? Just two more. Two more sips, okay, well, that's fine. But at one point, Cal was like, yo, you have 30 sips. And I was like, 30 sips? This is insane. So, anyway, <laughs> this is where I'm at. Um, go dogs. <laughs> Oh, well, even some and you lose some. Fuck. <clears throat> down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? 